All right, everybody. So we're up on a high spot with the 50. Would you mind spraying me down, please? And it's early in the morning. We're gonna go up to an overlook and we're gonna have the 50 BMG with us. We're gonna glass and just look around. And if we see something, we're gonna ease over the edge and try to get set up. You saw a bull? Yo, well, I just saw his head, just his arms. Did you see it when it walks through the cross? Yeah. We are looking for black wild piece right now. We've got the 50, and I'll tell you something, it ain't light. It's actually torture carrying that rifle. You spotting and stalking carrying a 50 B and G. It's got a barrel as long as my body and it weighs 33 pounds, but I'm, I was just thinking to myself, it feels like it weighs way more. <laughs> but it's something that's like, you know what? We want to do it. It's our choice. Hunting is full of choices. Life is full of choices. And Johnny chooses to hunt with the 50 BMG. But it's still fun. We're still having a good time. But I told Yako earlier, I was like, this is why you never see people doing this. Because this thing's huge. <laughs> you know, black wildebeest are a super cool critter. You know, living over here in the States, you ain't never seen anything like them. You know, first of all, they're wild as all get out. You know, running all over the place, bucking, all sorts of things. But they're actually extremely cool looking. You know, they got a big front end, you know, a really skinny back end, and these horns that come down the front, almost like demonic, with like a big old beard. I'm out here, and I gotta be honest with you, the first thing on my list is a black wildebeest. So Keith, Yako, and I worked down in this bottom, and sure enough, boom, there's a black wildebeest. Now, that being said is, we really can't see them too well. I think they're heading in the direction of that little open spot. Okay. Get, get yourself set up here, and we'll just see what they do. All right. Just see what they do. All right. There's a group of black wildebeest, and there's at least two shooters in the bunch. I'm laying there, I'm rock solid, I'm good to go. Now, keep in mind, Keith and Yako, they're up high. You know, they're standing above me, and they've got a totally different point of view than I do. Now, here come the black wildebeest. Now, one passes by, and Yako goes, that's not a shooter, don't shoot. And then he says, okay, shoot the second one. 260, that second one. I think I'm good to go. I put my earmuffs on. That being said is, unbeknownst to me, things kind of changed. Yako had said, don't shoot the second one, shoot the third one. But I didn't hear him. So when I got a shot at that second one, I took it. What'd you do? You shot the wrong one. What? You shot the wrong one. I shot the second one. Now that being said is Keith being the cameraman that he is, not that he's a cameraman, he's normally in front of the camera. <laughs> I didn't even know there was a third one. Oh, shot him, oh. Oh. <laughs> Did you get it? But he actually captured the shot on camera. Just in the last minute, you could just barely see it. But hey, we got the wildebeest, we got the footage, and it was actually a heck of an experience. All right, folks. <laughs> Well, he did not go far at all. It was a good shot and the 50 BMG put him down. This thing is so loud that we have to wear the big earmuffs for it. And to be quite frank, we got a little bit of a mix up there. So there were three wildebeest, which mm -hmm. I thought that there were two. And I knew that there was one shooter in the bunch. It was just the communication was off. They walked out on that narrow strip and I was lower, so I, I couldn't see the third bull. And all I heard was, you're good to go on the second bull. And I put my headphones down Long story short, this guy stopped just long enough for me to get a quick shot and it whopped him. And thankfully, Keith being the producer that he is, got it on film. It's off and to the right, but he still ended up capturing it. So came out, cracked Smashed. the shoulder. Yeah. What do you say, that's probably a hard <laughs> shot. And we got a beautiful animal. I'll tell you what, these guys are absolutely awesome. First of all, this boss and these yeah, horns are amazing. Cracked up. Yeah, that could yeah, crack. yeah, absolutely. And their mane, they got a gold mane and a gold tail, and they're just awesome animals. So to get the chance to hunt one of these was just an experience of a lifetime. So again, thank you very well done, much. Well <laughs> and I gotta tell you more about the gun we're using. This is the ULR by Noreen Firearms. It is a 50 BMG. And essentially, it's just a tank barrel with a stock on it. <laughs> um, it, is, it is a monster gun, but it is a very affordable gun. And if you're out there looking for a 50 BMG, I would highly recommend these guys because they actually are a lot of fun to shoot. It's just tough hunting with them, especially when you're up here in the mountains. So anyway, this has been an awesome time and I wanna thank you very much. It feels like art. You think that was a hard shot? 